Good day, this is your planning briefing recorded on September 1st. We'll start out with the satellite imagery here. There's a low pressure system over here off the west coast that we've been watching and not too much activity coming into Idaho and western Montana right now but if we look, were to look at the water vapor there's a couple little weak disturbances that are up over California maybe in Oregon that come through later today so we may see a few showers that get popped off out of those. Here's a quick look at your matrix and we'll go through the details of why I highlighted what I highlighted. So here's the low that was being shown by the satellite image and general above normal heights and warmer temperatures like we've been seeing are over us right now and when we move forward in time this low kind of gets washed out and lately the trend has been for this to slow down and the model guidance are just having a heck of a time trying to figure out what to do with this for the last week they've thought maybe it would come through on Monday and then they said Tuesday or Wednesday now it looks like it is delayed again so it doesn't look like it'll come through the area on Monday and is really uncertain of what it may turn into this keeps us in orange which means uh, you know above normal temperatures and general high pressure so sometime Tuesday Wednesday is when the models are now showing a little bit of weakness and maybe to have this low turn into a little disturbance and come through and cool off temperatures a little bit and maybe bring in some precip chances right now it's pretty uncertain so we'll have to keep an eye on what how this evolves because we could end up having a one of these days that actually ends up being more wet Thursday there's been pretty good agreement for high pressure warmer temperatures and then there might be a transition somewhere Thursday to Friday we get into southwesterly flow and it looks like maybe some moisture starts to work its way up so we might start to see a little bit of thunderstorm activity Thursday into Friday. Friday on looks like we're starting to see more activity come from the southwest which would probably mean more moisture, more storm chances and this trough off the coast looks like it wants to come in somewhere late week or maybe more into the weekend so we'll keep an eye on that. For the short term, term details the main thing that we want to point out for tomorrow or Monday is that the drier relative humidities that will be over the area and some increased winds so this even starts today where we see this area of drying that comes through it's actually drier air today than it will be tomorrow but we don't have as much wind today but on Monday it's drier and for most areas it's drier but especially in southwest Montana it's a lot drier and we do have an increase in winds and we'll have an increase in winds for everybody and those will mostly be southwest and westerly winds nothing that's too off the charts but just the combination is something to keep an eye out for and looking at the outlooks for September 6th through September 10th for temperature we are right on the edge of seeing a pretty good uh, indication of above normal temperatures hanging out for a little while longer and then precipitation above normal on our precipitation for this time frame and that must be that kind of that southwesterly flow could be warmer but it also allows for more moisture to come up through the area back to the threat matrix I highlighted everybody for at least some wind and wind and dry for Monday and southwest Montana has the driest and the most wind so we put them into high Tuesday Wednesday doesn't seem like it's going to be a big deal even if we have a weather system come through it doesn't really seem like it'll be that strong right now and humidities may end up improving and maybe not as much wind but we'll keep an eye on that for changes and then started to show some lightning chances for north central Idaho and southwest Montana for late Thursday and then for Friday there's a lot of uncertainty on this day but it's worth highlighting that uh, wind and lightning with the next wave of thunderstorms could be a problem. So that's the overall look there. Our next briefing is scheduled for Tuesday, September 3rd. And if we see anything change in between now and then, we'll let you guys know.